Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently quite negative financially and I believe that there's not too much that we can do about that right now although our subsidies are a bit on the high side as is our as is our goods for government buildings here that's the word I'm looking for now the reason for this is because our market access is low the reason for that is because Britain is not doing their job <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to, to to say it at this point. Britain is not doing their job. This war is going to be over. And once that is over, we should see our economy recover, in theory. Now, we could definitely pause our construction here and pay off our debt, which I think is good to do. I definitely don't want to be in debt while we've got, while we've got this uh, market access issue. Although that is coming up. Interesting. Did Britain end their war? It was just there. Oh yeah, they did. Okay. So never mind then. We don't actually need to pause our construction. The issue was Britain's war. 100%. Market access just went down again though. By 1%. They're not currently in another war. It went back up to 82. Okay. This is just due to shipping lanes. That's what it comes down to. So there's an electricity shortage in the British market. Things are definitely improved on this front. Definitely improved. Coal is currently slightly expensive. That's not shocking. We're working on sulfur mines right now, which are not the biggest of deals. Maybe we should move these whaling stations up for the purposes of oil. This would be in like Hokkaido, Tohoku, Sakhalin. It's not great. But what we really need to get those under control, particularly Sakhalin and Hokkaido, is we need to get poor laws passed. Getting some form of welfare, and we don't need to go ham on the welfare, but getting just like a baseline of welfare going will solve the problems in those states. So I'm reasonably content with that for right now. I think that'll be okay. We'll get these whaling stations done. They'll be done pretty quickly. We don't really have a huge need for oil right now, but Britain might by this point, and getting some whaling stations going would probably be, be beneficial. We can see we're going positive now financially, and this was all just due to market access. No shockers here. So that's all absolutely fine. We're turning a small profit right now. We're going to be working down these interest payments. They're relatively minor. I'm not too concerned about them at this moment. I want, to get the, I want to get these whaling stations done, and we're going to need to start developing maybe some sort of a navy soon, but I kind of don't want to do that right now. We're on extensive military shipbuilding, yes, but building a navy is expensive. I kind of want to get an army going and go after Korea quite soon. We would need to do something about their uh, relations situation. We'd have to expel diplomats. That's fine. We can definitely do that. That's not the biggest of deals. So these whaling stations are going to continue to be built. Sulfur mines are happening right now. This is all looking pretty decent economically. And actually, our economy is improving pretty substantially. So the price of oil must have been okay. I didn't even look at it. Where is oil in this? Ah, minus 50%. Okay, it's it's not great. <laughs> it's not great, but that's fine. Just getting the market access is a big part of this. So that'll be fine. We got another stall on our poor laws. Hmm. Minus 30% enactment time might not be great, but we'll go for it. I don't like giving up our setbacks right away like that, though. That's definitely unfortunate. We'll get these sulfur mines completed. They will be built relatively quickly. How are we doing on our unemployment and peasant numbers? Definitely an improvement there. And our literacy is sharply improving, which is fully expected at this point. Now that we have some decent laws going on here. Yeah, that's very helpful. I would like to consider swapping over to compulsory primary school. We would really need the trade unions to be in government for that. Should we consider... Well, we have the industrialists in government right now for the poor laws. After we pass poor laws, we should consider getting them out of government. I think that's very clear. We should also consider dropping our taxes soon as our economy continues to rebound. That'll be good. 
Our subsidies are a bit up there right now, but that's okay for the moment. We can address that. I'm not too concerned about that right now. So for the time being, this is looking absolutely great. We are going to want to get these coal mines and iron mines built eventually. But for right now, it's much more important that we just have... Okay, negative pop growth here. This is just due to the lack of welfare. We need a little bit of welfare up in Sakhalin, and this will turn right around. But that's the core problem up there, is lack of welfare. So a little bit of welfare. We do not want to go ham on it. We're probably not even going to turn up the institution for it. Probably not. For now, this is as good as it's going to get, most likely. Our overall pop growth is 1.43%, which is reasonable. It's not quite what we're angling for, but it's very, very close here. And our overall literacy needs to continue to soar. Eventually, we're going to need to get more institution here. But for now, this is fine. Okay, looks good. So our health system is almost to go through. About two more weeks for that. And we're going to finish up our sulfur mines quite soon here. There's not that many left here. Only about four pages worth. So that looks good. Our debt will be paid off soon as well. There's an electricity shortage. Yes, that is to be expected. Let's see what happens with our poor law here. There's our health system investment going up. And look at that. 1.6. I like it. So that is that is a significant gain in our annual projected pop growth. We got a debate this time. Okay, we'll take the 15% enactment success chance. Sounds good. That's absolutely great. So our sulfur mines are cruising on through here. And then lead mines beyond that. Yeah, those are going to take a while. And then there's the coal mines and iron mines here. Yeah, that's all going to be pretty slow stuff. No doubt about that. French Republic is starting a conquer state against China. That's interesting. I mean, China doesn't win that, obviously. That's very interesting. China wants to be recognized. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. That makes sense. How strong is Russia these days? Twenty nine ninety five. Okay, we can probably expand to be able to match that pretty easily, I would think. I want to get these constructions finished fairly soon here. We're not going to further expand our construction. We're currently working on breech-loading artillery, which is fine. I want to continue to work on military techs for the moment. Enlistment offices or electric telegraph would be okay. I do think repeaters would be pretty good. Three years on that. Okay, field works are going to be done soon enough. I think enlistment offices into repeaters would be the way to go at this point. Checking in on our innovation cap. We are fine on that front. No issue there. Okay, cool. So our sulfur mines are a ways away from still fully finishing. But we're down under three pages. That looks good. And our credit is almost gone. That also looks good. I really want to get poor laws passed. Once we get that done, we're going to be in a substantially good situation. As far as our population goes. We can see we have some pop growth in Hokkaido. And we're still negative pop growth in Sakhalin. I mean, I would absolutely love to do emergency relief up there. But 50% of zero is zero. <laughs> so there's absolutely no point in it. Dropping the road maintenance will be worthwhile. But we don't have anything... Like, dropping that in favor of emergency relief will be worthwhile once we get this passed. So that'll be all fantastic. These sulfur mines are going to be done eventually. But the real question is... Okay, revolution in Senegal against the British Republic. That's interesting. It's a military revolt. 5504, noted. I don't think we want to break free from Britain. I think we're reasonably okay with this as long as they maintain market access at a reasonable rate, right? I think that's what it comes down to. Another backroom deal stall over here. Okay. We'll stay focused on the law. Yeah, chances of those stalls are kind of low, but we've gotten a lot of stalls. So we're definitely seeing... What's happening here? C 
Korea is fighting in this war, but so is Russia. Russia and France. Okay. Italy and Persia on the side of... On, on the side of... of Wow, I cannot speak right now. I'm, I'm just stunned by this, apparently. I don't know why. The Ottoman Empire, Persia, Korea, Tibet, and Italy. Okay, I don't know who's going to win this, to be honest. Maybe France. France and Russia is pretty strong. No doubt about that, but I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. We wouldn't mind Russia being knocked back a peg here. That would be good for us, for sure. So, Sulfur Mines are going to be finishing up here soon, and we're about to get Breach Loading Artillery, which will be good. The real question here is... How much is this actually going to be hurting our ammunition price? It will hurt it a decent amount. It definitely will. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're definitely going to be coming out of debt here this week. Language in the classroom... Absolutely, they should speak the proper language, which is clearly Japanese, the language that I am speaking right now, as you can tell. That is definitely the proper language to be speaking. Perfect. So Japanese is going to get taught in the classrooms. That'll be fine. And breech-loading artillery will be done in 14 days here. Cool. So we're definitely going to upgrade our artillery support here. That will be pretty decent modifiers. 910 army power projection. Yeah, seems decent. That's a good chunk, no doubt about it. We'll definitely take that. So we're currently building up some gold reserves. And breach loading artillery has indeed been unlocked. There we go. We're going to swap over to shrapnel artillery. Perfect. That will eat up some of this surplus, but that's okay. The real question now is... Uh, we've got that market access happening. Okay. Noted. That is because Britain is fighting Sierra Leone. See, I don't understand why that's really affecting us. I mean, they are coastal. So I guess I get it here. In some situations, I don't understand why Britain loses control over these supply networks when they're like fully inland, right? That I don't get. That's very strange. But in this case... It makes sense. They're coastal. We go right through this node. So, sure. That does indeed make some amount of sense. So that's okay. Nothing too major there. We really do want to get these poor laws passed, though. That would be really, really good for us. And we would also love to see Russia get knocked back a peg here. Debate here? Okay, sure. Hmm... We'll let them bicker, but that doesn't really help us in any meaningful way. So we're having a little bit of bad luck on this poor law so far. No doubt about that. But things are going to be okay, I think. 39.2% is reasonable odds. So we should be fine on that front. We really do need to get it passed, though. Very, very badly. Our average standard of living is really brought down by Sakhalin here. And... Yikes. <laughs> absolutely yikes up there. That needs to get dealt with. The only real way to do it is via welfare right now. Because, I mean, if we look at these degrees, what can we get out of this? Not a whole lot. Violent suppression? I mean, minus 50% state penalties from turmoil might actually be more useful to us than the road maintenance. We are getting a fair amount of state penalties from turmoil. Unfortunately, that is going to harm the mortality rate here, but I'm not sure there's a lot that we can do about that right now. It'll be painful. No doubt about that one. So we've got a lot of turmoil here. There's a lot of radicalism up here. I don't I, I don't think that there's much we can do about it until we get poor laws. That will solve the problem. So that's okay. No issue there. We're definitely seeing Russia losing this. Yeah, France and Russia are losing this war. That is a good sign for us. That is very, very, very good. We're very pleased to see that. So we're building sulfur mines in Hokkaido right now. Those are not exactly ideal because of the negative construction efficiency, but it's okay. I'm not too concerned about that. 
And poor laws aren't ticking all that quickly. That's for sure. 39.3 now? So our success odds did go up a little bit. Coal is still considered expensive. Yeah, that's to be expected. And enlistment offices are 36 months out. But that's all okay. So for right now, we're working on getting these sulfur mines finished up in Hokkaido. We do eventually want to build these lead mines. The question is, is this a right now sort of thing? We also really do want to bring our standard of living up. We could cut taxes here, couldn't we? We could, actually. So we're going to cut taxes. That'll be great. Just doing that will help our standard of living significantly, including up in Sakhalin. It will help here. So we can see our standard of living virtually doubled up here. Yeah, it's it's grim. It's really grim. No doubt about that. But we've got it under control. Eventually, if we can get this passed. Another stall. Wow. Okay. We're definitely having some bad luck on this one. Keep in mind, there is currently a 70% chance of not having a stall. And we've gotten, like, at least five stalls that I can think of. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. We're definitely in the bad luck portion of that. So that's okay. We're going to finish up our sulfur mines in Hokkaido, and we're definitely seeing our finances continuing to rise here. A hardwood shortage in the British market, there's literally nothing we can do about that. I mean, in Hokkaido, our logging camps are not set up yet, but we definitely just need our workforce here to grow, right? So that's the primary issue here, and our workforce is growing, just slowly. Again, this is something that welfare will help with significantly. I'm not too concerned about it. If we could ever get welfare passed. We'll see if we can. We've had some awkward luck on these in the past, but for now it seems to be reasonably okay. So we're at plus 31k balance right now. There's field works finishing up. Okay, army defense and morale loss. So what are we at right now for our actual military strengths? 1820? Sure. We definitely need to bring that up. No doubt about that. Power of the purse is spreading to us. Okay, naval bases. Sure. Out of curiosity, what is the current cost per level for each of these? Naval bases are actually really cheap per level right now. Oil has been discovered in the West Indies. Noted. We're now starting to work on these lead mines. So our sulfur mines are only 15 weeks away now from being fully finished. I want to check in on our infrastructure here. So here in Kansai, we definitely need to do something about this. So 20, so we would need three in Kansai. In Shikoku, is this full? It's not. In Sakhalin, it's obviously not. And in Hokkaido, it's also not. Although I feel like in Hokkaido, it's close enough that we're going to need more here. I'm going to build three, and that's it. Okay, so we're going to get those building up. That, of course, means that we're delaying the sulfur mine down here a little bit, but it's okay. That'll be absolutely fine. Australia did more colonization. Good job, Australia. And we are, of course, going to continue to drop our taxes when we can. We're not quite to that point yet, but we will get there. Cool. So this is all looking reasonably fine. If we could pass poor laws, although we are up to 41, that's an improvement. No doubt about that. 13 weeks on our sulfur mines now. Looks good. So that is completely fine. We would love to go down to like steel frame buildings. That'd be very expensive, of course. But we would love to do it. We're not currently in a position to do that. Debate. Okay, at least we get 10% enactment success chance out of it. So we're up over 50% now. 51.6 and a 4.4% chance of advance now. The next most likely is stall, though. So that's unfortunate for us. But at this point, we could very easily just cruise through with two success rolls in a row, right? That is a theoretical... Actually, we need three. That is a theoretical possibility, though. We could get that. We'll see. Our railways in Hokkaido and Kansai do need to get finished up eventually. But for now, this is okay. Okay, this war is over. Did this border change? Yes. I'm pretty sure it did. Russia has claims over here. So I think Russia took a loss there. That's pretty good. We're happy about that. 
We're not in a position to fight Russia right now, obviously. But we could definitely work on that. I would very, very much like to hop over to Breach Loaders. That would be good. Small Arms is going to get expensive, in theory, if we do this. Yeah. We could definitely do something about that. We could build some arms industries, and that's a good thing to build. I'm going to build five in Chubu for right now, and we'll call that good for the moment. That'll get this sulfur mine done in two weeks yet, and that looks good. We're very happy to get all of our sulfur mines done. There are a number of lead mines in here still. In fact, there's a lot. Like 12 pages of them. Okay. Yeah, that'll take a while to get through. No doubt about that. But that's okay. So small arms will... I didn't expect to zoom there. Weird. I can't reproduce it. Okay. We're definitely having some coal issues. I, I've completely forgotten what point I was going to make. I was very derailed there. That's fine. We're certainly having some coal issues, and we would like to do something about that. Again, that's something poor laws will help with. We would absolutely love to get some amount of poor laws going on here. So we would like to cut our taxes as well. Obviously, we're not in a position to do that at this exact moment. But just cutting our taxes that small amount was a big gain in standard of living, which is good. We want exactly that. We are building up a good amount of gold reserves. We could run a deficit for a while. That is a theoretical option at this moment. I don't think we're going to do that right now. We did just finish up our railroads here, so that will help matters. Houses of Faith. Really? We got an advance here. Under a 10% chance of an advance. Okay. I mean, an advance is good, right? We can bump this up to 73, but at a certain point, this gets ridiculous. <laughs> this definitely gets ridiculous at a certain point. Restore state religion? No thanks. We're not going to do that right now. That's for sure. Our radicalism has definitely shot up in the past little while. Mostly due to what? From events and other reasons. It was a while ago. Not that long ago, though. Interesting. Gold has been depleted in the South Island. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to need to work that down. No doubt about that. We are interested in continuing to cut taxes, and I'm going to do it right now. We are going to run a deficit for a little bit, but I think that's okay. Small arms are still considered expensive right now, so we're going to get these done in 13 weeks. And, of course, lead mines are going to be useful. What is lead actually used in? Like munitions plants, I assume? O along with some other things? Yeah. Munitions plants, for sure. Steel railway cars are done. Neat. That's fine for now. I don't think that really changes our production method here. It absolutely tanks the price of transportation and raises the price of steel dramatically. I think we stay on cargo prioritization for right now. We did just cross 100 million in our GDP. That's great. And pump jacks are spreading to us. That's also very good. We are pleased with that. And these lead mines are going to be done eventually. Eventually. It's kind of a low priority thing, right? We're mostly just working on them when we're not working on other things at this moment. That's pretty much what we've got going on here. We should check in on railways. Hokkaido is continuing to slip away from us. This is due to lack of employment here. I'm not shocked about this one. I'm not shocked in the slightest. Keep in mind steel passenger carriages would also reduce our amount of infrastructure here. So that's not ideal. For sure. Arms Industries will be done in four weeks. That will definitely... I, I think that'll probably... Probably not bring us positive, but it'll be close. It'll be close. For sure. Hey, we finally get to consideration on poor laws. Only a 73% chance. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, hopefully this will just sail straight through now. And the Arms Industries are finishing up. Small arms are no longer expensive. Okay, looks good. 
and we're just working on lead mines for right now. We are still running a bit of a deficit here, but it's really not that much of a deficit. We're going to have these gold reserves for quite a while. We'll continue to think about cutting taxes when possible, but right now it's not. We don't want to do it right now. That's for sure. 100%. We do want to start building military structures as we get this a bit more stabilized. We're, I, I know I've been saying this for a long time. We're really close to that pivot. <laughs> really, really, really close. Our GDP is coming up nicely. All we need right now is this tiny little bit of welfare to help out these two states. And we're golden. At that point, everything is great. But we're not there yet. Mostly because we've had very awkward luck here, but it's fine. We'll get there. Our setbacks haven't actually caused us significant issues. They've just delayed things. So nothing too major there. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to pass poor laws. I can guarantee you that one. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.